Hello students, today we are going to learn about inverse square law. Okay, we are going to learn what is the consequence or what is the meaning of this inverse square law. So in this case, we learned that the universal law of gravitation in that case, the force is directly proportional to the product of masses of two objects divided by the separation. Not divided, this is basically inverse proportionality relation. So therefore, if I want to write it like this, F is inversely proportional to the square of separation di distance between any two objects. What this essentially means is, let us consider two objects which are placed like this with the separation of D. Okay. So these two objects will have some gravitational force between them. Yes or no? Now let's say I'm going to increase the distance here. This is the distance and now I am increasing the distance two times the original. So ba basically now the distance has increased by a factor of two. Can you directly tell me by looking at this relationship and tell me will the force increase or will the force decrease and if it does by how much factor the way to tell that is by looking at this relationship that is forces inversely proportional to the square of distance okay first of all you need to understand what is inverse proportionality that is basically if something increases by some x factor the other thing will decrease by the same x factor okay so if you're multiplying um, a quantity a by a factor of 2 the other thing will get divided by a factor of 2 so the opposite thing happens okay so this is inverse but the point is this quantity is not in its absolute form this is the square of distance this is not only distance therefore if the distance has increased by a factor of 2 there's an inverse relation but it's an inverse square relation therefore the force will now get decreased by a factor of 2 squared that means the force will have decreased by a factor of 4. So if distance increases by a factor of 2, the force will get decreased by a factor of 4. Let us do the opposite. Let's say I want to increase the force. Okay. So th this is some force. I want to increase the force by a factor of 2. Okay. The force is to be increased by a factor of 2. That means to do this, I will have to decrease the distance by a factor of 4. Okay. So, it's an inverse square law. This is the meaning. This is the relationship between the two things. So, this means if you increase the distance, the force decreases by the square of the distance. And this means actually when something is far from you, the gravitational force reduces. And it does not reduces proportionally, it reduces by inverse square relation. Okay, that's the meaning of this. And another important thing is this law of gravitational, it is universal and its sense is that it is applicable to all the bodies. This is very important. Okay, earlier even um, in the times of Isaac Newton, before him, it was majorly understood that basically this gravitation uh, gravitation or this gravitational force all of this exists only between the planets okay but later on newton came and he did something incredible and very different okay which changed the whole idea and that idea was that this gravitational force is not only existing between planets but it is existing in all the objects and children this has been verified by scientists and literally there have been experiments which have been done outer in the space between two objects which are having relatively small mass and still they are being attracted. So this gravitational force has been experimentally verified. 